Bohu. I've traveled all over the world. Many times. I've been around the world probably 20, 30, 40 times. And I hear people, even ministries, tell me they've got this revelation from the Spirit of God. Supernatural. Служители да ми казват да си умеди какво си откровение от Бога и то казва свръхестествено откровение. But there's no scripture to back it up. Supernatural? Yes. From God? Absolutely not. And so, when God does something, there's going to be a lot of scripture to validate it. Now, um, September the 28th, 1984, was a Friday evening, and Jesus appeared to me. September 24th, 1984, was a Friday evening, and Jesus appeared to me. And he explained to me how to release his anointing for instant healings and instant miracles. And he told me how to release his anointing for instant healings and instant miracles. And it's not supposed to be a mysterious thing for God to, for Jesus to appear to anybody. And it should not be something that is mysterious. He wants to appear to every single person on many accounts. Господ Исус иска да се явява на всеки един човек много пъти. In John chapter 14 verse 21. В Йоан 14 глава 21 стих. Jesus said. Исус каза. He or she that has my commandments. Той или тя, който има моите заповеди. And keeps them. И ги пази. He or she it is that loves me. Той или тя е който ме люби, който ме люби, отец ще го възлюби, казва и аз ще го възлюбим, и ще явя себе си на него. Думата да се явя на гръцки, дума по дума, казва ще се покажа, ще се покажа лично, аз в личност ще се изявя. Исус каза, така че Исус каза, аз съм пътя, истината и живота. Никой не идва при Отец, освен чрез мене. Това е пътя да влезеш в Божия присъствие. Да влезеш в присъствие в Исус. Това е пътя. Колкото по-духовно мислиш си, толкова по-чувствителни ще бъдеш към духовния свят. Поради която е необходимо всеки ден да прекараш Божието Слово, да запаметяваш Божието Слово. Всеки ден през деня си, това не е някакво робство за мен, а е живот. Няма да ме намериш повече от пътя. Толкова голяма част от пътя. Запаметил и всеки ден запаметявам стихове. Защото това ми дължи. Така че аз всеки ден през целия ден мисля върху Библията. Може да ми вземеш Библията, да ме сложиш в затвора, но не може да ми вземеш Библията, понеже ще е тук. И тук. Talking to the to my my best friend. Vinigi govore na moj najdobar prijatelj. Jesus is my best friend. Jesus je moj najdobar prijatelj. He has appeared to me many times. To mi se javljalo mnogo puta. And he calls me by my first name. I me nariče ispozvao ki prvo to mi. And it always touches my heart. Fa vinigi do kosva srce to mi. Because he's my friend. Защото Той е моят приятел. Той ме обича. И Той е твоят най-добър приятел. Ще споделя с вас как да се молиш с цялата сърце. Но е необходимо да унищожа една стара, древна, педесятна, харизматична, напълното благовестие традиция, която е човешка доктрина. Не ви познавам. Така че целта ми не е да обидя когото и да не обидам. Но искам да ви кажа нещо, което е усъкратило служенията на пълното благовестие. В 1 Коринтини 12 глава. Библията казва в 8 стих. Първо започва да говори в началото на 12 глава за дарбите на Духа. И в 8 стих се казва на един is given this gift. And it just keeps on saying, and to one this. And 
What I want to say, that's the only passage in the whole Bible, in the whole Bible, it's the only passage that seems like в който изглежда като чели Бог казва този човек получава този човек получава тълбани, дарът тълбани този човек получава дарът за изцеление този получава дарът за изцеление този човек получава дарът за и така на различни хора различни дарът това е единствения пасаж в цяло Библия няма да отвърдят това и това отвърдя защото те мисля so I can't do all the gifts. And Jesus said, let every word, every doctrine be established in the mouth of two or three witnesses. And the word witnesses in the Greek is the word of God. Scriptures. There are other three passages to validate that. Има ли три пасажа, три стиха в Библията, за да потвърдят това? There's only one. Има само един. And that's out of context. И това е вълното отличие. If you just read that whole chapter, ако чете цялата глава, you'll find that it's talking about nine gifts, ще видите, че се говори за девет дарби, and nine offices. И девет офиси. And it just keeps offices and gifts. И говори за офиси и дарби. And so, one person, така че един човек, may have the office of a prophet, може да има офис от пророк, but, And another person may have the office of apostle, of apostle, apostle or teacher, apostle, or, or uh, you know the different offices. And, and so we don't all have all the offices. That there is the office of prophecy. And if you are in the office of prophecy, then you're in the office of a prophet. But not everybody is a prophet. But we all have all the gifts of the Spirit. I've got a book that I've been studying, I've, been, I've gone through uh, Matthew, all the New Testament, every single word. And there's over 700 verses just in the New Testament that tells us that God has already given us all things that pertain to this life and godliness. God liked this. And I just quoted 1 Peter chapter 1. Verse 3 and 4. And I don't have enough time. You don't have enough time. I can preach longer than you can say. I can preach longer than you can say. But you don't have time for me to go over all 700. So I just encourage you to read Matthew through Revelation and find those verses. Or you can wait until I get the book and it's called Hidden Secrets. And I'll be putting it out in about six more months. John chapter 17, verse 19. Jesus prayed, and he says, Father, I pray for those that shall believe. How many believes in Jesus this morning? Then Jesus prayed for you. He said, those that shall believe. He had prayed for us before we ever got here. Did Jesus always get his prayers answered? Absolutely yes. 100% of the time. He always prayed the perfect will of God. And he always got all of his prayers answered. So God answered that prayer. And the very next verse, he says, Father, I pray that the same glory that you gave me, I give it to them. So now we have the glory of God. It doesn't make any difference if you believe it or not. It doesn't make any difference if you if 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 
it's a reality to you, независимо дали е реалност за тебе, it's yours because Jesus paid for it. понеже Исус се молил за тебе. Most people don't even know it. Повечето хора даже не го знаят. Most preachers in the world, they don't know it. Повечето проповедници са the glory of God. Не го знаят, че те имат славата на Бога. In the Greek, the fuller expression of that word glory is the reputation of God. Репутацията на Бога. Did Jesus have the reputation of God? Исус имаше ли репутацията на Бога? Absolutely. Absolutely. And so now, we have the reputation of God. Colossians chapter 1, verse 26-27. Listen, the mystery or the secret of the ages, Christ in you, the hope of glory. The hope of glory. Надеждата на славата. This is the mystery of the ages. Това е тайната на вековете. The same glory. Същата слава. That was in Jesus. Която беше в Исус. Is now in us. Сега е в нас. In the realm of the spirit. В духовния свят, в областта на духа. That you have on Jesus' clothes. Ти си облечен с грехите на Исус. When the devil looks at you, когато дяволът те види, he can't he can't see any difference between you and Jesus. Той не може да види никаква разлика между тебе и Исус. Because we have on God's clothes. Защото ние сме облечени с Божията грехи. Ние сме облечени с славата на Бога. The reputation of God. Репутацията на Бога. Amen. Amen. So it's ours. So we just need to learn to believe it. Просто на кури му да случим да го вярваме. And we need to learn to act like it. И да случим да действаме според това че е истина. So that's that's a major thing that you need to to realize. Това е главно нещо което на кури му да осъзнаете. Now let me. I'm I'm just trying to listen to the Holy Spirit. Сега слушам Святия Дух. That another point. Друго нещо. That the devil will cheat us as ministries from operating in the power of God, in the fullness of God. That he will bring to our attention mistakes we've made in our life. Грешки кои сме направили вишивота си. Any here, anybody here ever make a mistake? Някои тук някои правил е грешка. Just two or three of the rest are all angels. And we're glad for you angels to show up. And so, mistakes are sin. And, and so, um, we have the glory of God. Not because we've sinned. And not because we haven't sinned. It's the gift of God. Тя е та от Бога. By God's grace. По Божията благодат. And so, the next time, and so the devil will try to come to you and say, you know, you're not good enough. You're not holy enough. Така че дявол ще се опита да дойде и ти каже, виж какво, ти не си достатъчно добър, не си достатъчно свят. You can't operate with God's power. Така че ти не можеш да действаш с Божията сила. But it's not based on how good I am. Но не е основано на това колко добър съм аз. It's based on how good he is and he was. Good, bad, or ugly, it's already mine. Amen. Amen. That my name is Bond. My last name is Bond. And so I'm in the family of bonds. That's my family then. Yes, that's my family. 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 And when Jesus is the Lord of your life, you are in the family of God. That your family name is God's child. Amen. And so you have this inheritance. It's yours. Now let me just say this. Because some people say, well, you know, then I can go out and do all the sin I want and still have the power of God. And that's true. God's grace is a license to sin. You want to throw a rock at me for saying that. 
But only a fool no, само глупак would use it as a license to sin. би използвал Божията благодат като позволение за грях. You can still live in sin, Ти пак можеш да живееш в грях and you're still a child of God. и пак да бъдеш Божия дете and you still have the power of God. и пак да имаш Божията and сила. Read my book, uh, God's and it's Ако прочетете книгата на Слободавите Божието помазание, тя е свързан с това, което получавам тази сутрин. Самсон е в Стария Завет and he knew how to Uh, use the power of God when he was living in sin. Как да използва Божията сила, докато живее в грях? And he, would, he wasn't under grace. We're under grace. He was under law. Той не беше под благодата, той беше под закона, ние сме под благодата. However, he knew more about God's grace than most preachers in the United uh, in, the, in the whole world knows today. Обаче той знаеше за Божията благодат повече отколкото повече проповедници в целия свят знаят днес. But I'm going to tell you why we don't sin. Ще ви кажа защо не се грешаваме. I'm going to tell you why I don't sin. Ще ви кажа защо не се грешаваме. Ще ви кажа защо вие не трябва да се грешавате. Because when you sin, защото когато се грешаваш, you give in to Satan. Ти се продаваш на сатана. You're working for the devil. Работиш за дявола. And if you work for the devil, и ако работиш за дявола, you get his wages. Ще получиш заплата от дявола. And what's the wages? И каква е заплатата за греха? Да. I don't like them. Не ми харесва. And Satan will give you и сатана ще ти даде what you don't deserve. Това, което He'll give you greater wages. Не заслужава, смисъл че сатана ще даде много по-голяма заплата отколкото си заслужил. Samson, Samson, that he knew how той знаеше как to work with the power of God, да работи с Божията сила and then he would surrender to sin, и се предавал на греха часове след това. But he died prematurely. Но той умря преждевременно. Ужасна смърт. Съсъжени железа са му изгорили очите. Той не е заслужавал това. But Satan will give you what you don't deserve. Но Сатана ще даде дори заплата за, за грях, смърт, която даже човек не е заслужил много по-голяма. A very extremely good illustration in our day and time. Изключително добра иллюстрация в наши дни и времена. All you have to do. Всичко, което трябва да направиш. Is go out and have one 20 minute sexual experience outside of marriage and get AIDS and you'll die. Вече човек може да излезе и да има само едно 20 минутно сексуално преживяване което е грях и ще получи спин и ще умре преждевременно. Всички години на святост, които си живял, всички добри неща, които си извършил, за 20 минути работене за дявола, ще получиш нещо, което не заслужаваш. Ще умреш. И някои хора казват, well, I just believe God for healing. Ама ще вярвам на Бог за изцеление за чудо. If you can't believe God to refrain from 20 minutes of sex, ако не можеш да вярваш на Бога, да се въздържиш от 20 минути секс, как ще вярваш на Бог за чудо? You're going to die. Ще умреш. Просто ще умреш. You go to heaven, but you won't get to enjoy all the blessings that God has for you in this world. Но няма се наслаждаваш на всички благословения, които Бог има за тебе в този свят, в този живот. Просто служението ти ще свърши и ще умреш и си свършен. I don't care how much you sin. Независимо колко се грешаваш. You're not going to stop God's love. Ти няма да спреш Божията любов. Amen. Amen. You'll always be his child. Unless you reject him. And, and so I, I want to say that. Then I want to say uh, talk about uh, a praying. Uh, studying the Bible. Uh, tithing. Fasting. If we're doing those things to earn something from God, then you make God of no effect. You make God's word and God. Same thing. Uh, in Galatians, And uh, chapter 5, uh, verse 4, it says Christ is become of no effect, no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, 
които се опитват да се оправдават чрез закона. You are fallen from grace. Вие сте отпаднали от благодатта. And so the law was a system of works. Законът е бил система на дела. It was of the Old Testament. От Стария Завет. God has never changed. Бог никога не се е променил. But people have changed. Но хората се променили. And so the Old Testament, така че Стария Завет, was people had to do things to receive things. Хората трябваше да вършат неща, да вършат това, за да приемат. The law was for people of dead spirits. They had dead spirits. Законът беше за духовно мъртви хора, хора с мъртви духове. So they had no conscience. Така че те нямаха съвест. And, and, and so they had to have some written laws to go by. But today, that we, we today have spirits that are alive. And so today, if you are justified by deeds, and the word justified, that it means, in, in essence, just as if Just as if you didn't do it, or just as if you wanted it. Точно като че ли не си го извършил. So in other words, let me say it this way. Нека да го кажа така. That I do these good things, pray, fast, pay my tithes, go to church, read the Bible, memorize the Bible. Да се моля, да постя, да чета Библията, да ходя на църква, да постя. If I do it to earn, ако върши тези неща, да заслужа, God's holiness, Божията святост, God's anointing, Божието помазание, I'm falling from grace. If I'm falling from grace, I even lose my salvation. Because we're saved by grace. And so, that's strong, but we need to know that. And the, the second point would be, why pray for something? Why fast for something? Why tithe for something? Защо да плащаш десятък за нещо? It's already been given to you. Което вече ти е дано. He's already given everything. Given us everything. Той вече ни е дал всичко. Now I believe in doing all of these things. Аз вярвам във всичко това. I told you every day. Да казвам ви всеки ден. Even through the night. Даже и нощта. I'm always praying. Аз винаги се моля. Praying is communicating with my best friend. Да се моля е да комуникирам с моя най-добър приятел. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 5:17. Апостол Павел каза на Тимоти 5:17 молете се непрестанно. And so. И така. I pray all day long. Аз се моля през целия ден. Now there's times that I just get away for maybe a half an hour or maybe sometimes an hour. I don't time it. I just talk to God and I intercede. But my richest times I'm just walking with Him. Would you rather have somebody that you really love being with ти би ли предпочел да имаш някой, с който наистина обичаш да бъдеш и да прекараш един час с него на година или винаги да е тебе 24 часа на ден. И това е най-добрия вид молене. And so we pray, not to earn. We pray, because it's talking to our best friend. And now I'm going to talk about fasting. 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 We think, well, if I, I'm going to fast, so I'll get more God's anointing. You can't get more anointing by fasting. God's already given you all things that pertain to God. So why should we fast? The you know, I started fasting in 1974. And I haven't stopped since. I fast every day. You know what? There, there's been times that I fast for maybe six days without eating. I used to do that. And I found out the only thing I got was hungry. I found out the best fast is a living a fasted life. Because see, fasting is In essence, it's spending more time with God than with food. That I love God more than I love food. 
And so, и така, I let my spirit rule me and not my flesh. Аз позволявам на духа ми да ме управлява, а не плътта ми. My flesh wants to do a whole lot of things. Моята плът иска да върши доста неща. But I don't let my flesh rule me. Но аз не позволявам на моята плът да ме управлява. I tell my flesh. Аз казвам на плътта си. My spirit. Is in control. Моят дух е в контрол, казвам. And my flesh wants to eat some things. И плътта ми иска да е някои неща. Eat too much. Да е твърде много. And I said no. И аз казвам не. You're not doing that. Няма да направиш това. And there are certain foods that I just don't eat because I know that it's bad for my body. It'll cause me to be overweight. And I'm the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so I want to take care of God's temple. Amen. So I can be an instrument for God. Amen. There's people in my church and they want to go with me Certain places and do crusades. Кои туиска да патуват смене, да идват смене на покуди. And I said you can't go. И аз казвам не може да дойдеш. Because you're too fat. Твърде да бел си. You couldn't keep up with me. Няма да може да издържиш на темпото. Sometimes I go into countries. У някои от тях няма да се върнат. Walk a half a day up a mountain. Къде ти трябва половин ден да се катери по планината, да ходим из планините? I'd have to raise them from the dead five times before we got to the top. Ще трябва пет пъти да ги възкресявам от мъртвите преди да стигнем до място на службата. And so, we're the temple of the Holy Ghost. We are a walking billboard for God. And so we need to take care of our bodies because we represent God and because our spirit is in more control than my flesh. Нашия дух е повече в контрол, отколкото плътта. Така че аз не постия, за да заслужа да спечеля нещо. Това е глупаво. Защото той вече ми е дадено. Не мога да заслужа нещо, което ми е дадено. You know another good illustration. Друга добра добра иллюстрация. I can remember when I was a boy. Когато бях момче. My brother and I. Спомням си че брат ми е. We're Indian people. Ние сме индианци. And so we had fun just playing in the woods. Така че за нас беше голяма радост. We had no money for toys. Но хората нямаха пари за играчки и неща. And so we we just learned to play in the woods. Как се научихме да си играем в гората, да се катерим по дървета, да тичаме из гората и така нататък. Making things out of sticks. Да правим неща от пръчки. Finding small trees and writing them down. Just playing in the woods. Да намираме малки дървета. And we would go out after breakfast. In the summertime, and we were playing and having so much fun. We just forgot to eat. Just forgot to eat. And then all of a sudden, it's maybe three o'clock. We start to get a little hungry. We come home. 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 I have so much fun with God. I would rather be with God than eating. That's a true fact. God gives me more pleasure than food. Amen. So now, real briefly, I'm going to talk about what Jesus told me. So you know the foundation of operating with all the gifts of the Spirit. You need to study and find out how all the gifts of the Spirit operate. Необходимо е да изучавате и да разберете как действат всички дарби на Духа, за да може да чете с тях. В много служби, аз действам с всички дарби на Духа. В много служби действам с всички дарби на Духа. И ако разбереш как действа всяка една дарба, просто ще се предадеш на нея. Ще действаш като че Библията е вярна. Главната причина да действаме като че Библията е вярна е защото Библията е вярна. Простичко. Това е друг главен въпрос. Това е друг главен въпрос между служенията, след служенията. Понякога толкова осложняват нещата, че те даже самите да разбират какво казват. 
It needs to be so simple the child can understand. I've taught little children that can't even read how to release the anointing of God and instantly they start operating the miracles of God. And if it's Psalm 119 and verse 130, the Bible says, The entrance of his words, they give light, light, God's power, they give understanding to the simple. If it's not, if it's not simple, if it's not so simple, that the most simple-minded people can understand it, then it's not of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, when Jesus appeared to me, that the only thing he said to me is that if I would pray with my whole heart, his anointing would always go into people and their needs would always be met. Those are the only words that came out of his mouth. However, many of you are going to start seeing Jesus appear to you. In dreams and visions, in personal appearances. And you're going to find out when Jesus or an angel appears to you that you're going to find out that sometimes they don't even have to say anything. They can just look at you. Because God, Jesus is spirit. He's not intellect. He's not physical. He's not audible language. Audible language. And so Jesus can just look at you and give you volumes of information. He can look at you and, and, and deposit a whole encyclopedia full of information. And so when Jesus appeared to me, my spirit was going faster than machine gun bullets. It's just like, yes, it means this, it means this, it means this. And all these scriptures, just faster than I could think. And, and every time I think of the experience, more and more information comes. This is what I mean to pray with your whole heart. And so, Matthew chapter 6, verse 22, and that was one of the, 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 the scriptures that came to me, Jesus said, this is what it means, to pray with your whole heart, that uh, the light of the body is the eye. Light is in reference to God's power. His glory. And the light of the body is the eye. The word body in the Greek is the mind, the flesh, and the spirit. If you want to have God's glory, God's power in your mind, in your flesh, in your spirit, the key is the light of the body is the eye is in reference in the Greek to your mental and spiritual eye. We have mental eyes and we have spiritual eyes. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, use your mental eye. Uh, does anybody see an apple in here? No apples. Can you see an apple? Describe an apple. What does it look like? It's a fruit. How big is it? How big is it? Is it this big? What color is it? It's this big. What color? Um, 
može da bude črveno, može da bude zeleno. It may be red or green. What's on the inside? Or yellow. What like a coin? What are you saying? Seeds on in the middle. Anything else? Nešto drugo? The color is the name. Uh, how do you call it? Mesista to chest, kakav cvete? Mesista to chest, what is it? Usually it's white. Okay. Dobre. There's no apples in here. Tu pa nema jabolki. But he described an apple. To je opisao jabolka from his memory. Od pameta si. That's your mental eye. All of us use our mental eyes all the time. Ispozume umstrenite si uči pres celo to vreme. And that's the reason why he didn't put a dress on this morning. To je mogel da se obliče ta jaz vtri. Because his mental eye says I put on men's clothes. E, mu je kazal, še se oblika maški vrehi. Your mental eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual eye tells you millions of things. Now your spiritual Isus kaza, Isus kaza v Jovan 6, v 63 stih, He said, my words are spirit. Kaza, mojte dumi sa duh. Heaven and earth will pass away. Nebeto in zemljata ste preminat, but my words will never pass away. No mojte dumi nikoga njama da preminat. Psalms 138 verse 2, God says he exalts his word above himself. Psalms 138, 2, ktori stih, Bog kaza, vas sem vas vidi, če je slovo se nad celo to si ime. Is the most spiritual thing in existence. Božjeto slovo je najduhovnoto nešto koje suštistvuje. So your spiritual eye, tako da tvojto duhovno oko sees spiritual things. Vidi duhovni nešta. And so train your spiritual eye, obuči duhovnoto si oko to see the word of God as truth. Da vidi Božjeto slovo kao istina. And a good illustration is the book of Habakkuk. Dobra ilustracija je knjigata Habakkuk, chapter four and verse three or three four in the Amplified Bible. Yes. Three four. A vakum trete go ač čtvrti stih. Amplified says it so pretty. Prašenje Biblije ukazuje toliko. Talked about God. Uvoriti za Boga. And he said he has sunlight splendor. Kazuje što ima sunčiva sunčiva bljesci. That comes out of his hands. Sunčiva ta svetlina koja tu izlazi od trcete mu. And there in that sunlight splendor. I tam v sunčivo to sijanje. Is the hiding place of his power. Eskrivalište tu na silata. This is God's Shekinah glory. Božja ta slava Shekinah. 1 John chapter 4 verse 17. Prvi Jovan 4 17 says, "Kasma as he is, kako je toj, so are we in this world." Kasma i nije, u tozi si. And so, with my mental eye and my spiritual eye, so duhovni I train my mental eye. Isus umstvenit si uči, ja sam obučio umstvenit si uči. To read God's word, da čitat Božje tu slovo. So now I want my mental eye and my spiritual eye to be single, one. Така че аз искам духовните ми очи и умствените ми очи да бъдат едно, да бъдат единични, да бъдат заедно. So my mental eye is reading the word of God. Така че умственото ми око е да чета Божието Слово. And then my spiritual eye. А духовното ми око. I purposely have a vision. Аз умишлено имам видение. Представям си. How am I trading places? This is, I'm, I'm, I'm getting well done. I'm going to get a sun tan in a minute. Huh? You're getting compensated for the night. <laughs> That's what it is, I guess. We'll trade. Um, so. Eat the cup. Oh, I'm going to say so much. I need to speak in Bulgarian. <laughs> and 28 other languages. <laughs> but, uh, so. What I do is that I see when I pray for people. I see a, a, I purposely see a beam coming out of my hand. Have you ever taken a flashlight in the middle of the night? See that beam. And I see it. As vision tozi watch. And it's so real to me because I've just trained my mind and my spirit that it has more reality than my flesh. 
че това нещо за мен е по-реално от тялото ми, от плътта ми. I don't care what my flesh eyes say. Не ме интересува какво казва физическото ми ухо. I don't care what my flesh says. Не ме интересува какво казва плътта ми. Because I believe God more. Понеже аз вярвам на Бога повече. And so, as he is, so am I in this world. Както е той, така са аз в този свят. И когато не се спрашвам напред, аз бях в църквата на този пастор с нощи. Колко чули са видя с нощи? Мени. Нито веднъж не докоснах когато и да било. Просто си протягах реката. И изпращам помазанието. И така. Вие можете да правите същото нещо. It's learning to be single-minded. Това е да се научиш да бъдеш с единичен ум, фокусиран ум. Of the body. Светлината на тялото ти, на духът ти, на плътта ти, на плътта ти. If you want God's glory, be single-minded. Ако искаш Божията слава в съществото си, в живота си, бъди с единичен ум, фокусиран ум. Now let me give you another illustration. Нека да ви дам друга иллюстрация. This is the best illustration that God has ever given me. Тази иллюстрация Бог ме даде that we can take this pulpit and we can take it outside on a sunny day and the sun can hit it all day long and it won't do anything to it. Just get a little warm. But I can take a magnifying glass and if I focus и ако фокусирам слънчевата сила чрез лупата, аз мога да изгоря целия вод. Нали? Така че ти се фокусираш. Ти взимаш силата, силата на слънцето. Толкова е навънка и всеки чувства топлината на Слънцето. Но те нямат толкова сила. Но ако вземеш инструмент, който ще фокусира и нашите инструменти за фокусиране да фокусираш и да бъдеш с единичен ум. Не тук, а тук и тук, а единичен. Сингъл е фокус. Ако имам най-добрата лупа в света, но ако не фокусирам, ако не позволяваме цялостна или единична, няма сила. Цялата сила си я има. Аз имам правилния инструмент, но не го фокусирам. Но ако го фокусирам, тогава ще имам сила. Бог Алмайти! Бог се могъщи. Бога на цялото творение. Той се нужда от инструмент. И ако ние искаме да бъде негови инструмент, които ще бъде с единичен ум, цялата му сила ще бъде през нас и ще се фокусира и ще имаме чудо. Амин. Простичко е. Както когато аз се моля за някого, както тази някога, She's pretty healthy. Тя е доста здрава. But I'll... Yeah, there's... Little, little stiffness across your shoulders. Има малко стягане в тази натърти. Е тука. Little stiffness right there. Not too bad. There's closure. Стягане. Затвори очите си, моля. Watch this. Watch this. Гледайте това, гледайте. Now say... You can open your eyes just a second. Затвори очите си, моля. That... Remember when Jesus told me... Исус ми каза да бъда съединичен. Той казва, че помазаването винаги ще отива в тях и те винаги ще приеме. Когато Той каза това, това е ако те искат да го приемат, ако те го приемат. Както са църквата на този пастор с нощи, имахме доста добри чудеса. Но имаше някои хора, които не приемаха. Един човек тук, мощно, велико чудо, човека до него се нужда нещо много и нищо. Ти може да дадеш на някого нещо, но ако те не знаят как да го приемат, няма да ги ползва. 
той не можеше да извърши никакви чудеса. It didn't say he wouldn't. Не се казва, че said he could not. Че не искаше, а се казва, че не можеше. And then it said that he he marveled. И се казва, че той се чудеше. Because of their unbelief. Шестистих на тяхното неверие. Now if Jesus, if there's some situations he can't do something. А ако имаш ситуации, в които самият Исус не можеше да направи нещо. Then neither can we. Значи ние не можем. And The Bible says that he only healed a few sickly folks. And if you'll do a study on this, you'll find there were no more than eight people in that whole city. Не повече от 8 човека в целия град. And the greatest thing that happened и най-великото нещо, което се е случило, was healing of a minor like a headache. And that's all he could do. The will of God is for everybody to be healed all the time. But people has to receive it. I'm going to pray for you in a minute. But This happened to me many years ago, and it's happened many times. I'm driving down the highway, it's pouring down rain, pouring down rain, 15 feet over here, absolutely no rain. The sky is sunny, it's hot. The ground is very dry. Безоблачно, горещо е, земята е сухо. Fifteen feet over here. На петнайсет стъпки там, на средата на дърво. Pouring down rain. Излива се дъж. Have you ever seen that happen? Виждали сте това нещо? I ask God, I says, Why is it raining here? Защо тук вали? Not raining over here. А там не вали. And he says, because the conditions are right. И той каза, защото условията не са правилни, не са подходящи тук. God can't rain on people if the conditions aren't right. And the, one of the major problems is people don't know how to receive it. They try to bring God down to their level instead of going up to His level. And His level is the way we've got to do it. We've got to do it God's way. And God's ways are simple. But they're not the ways that are always natural. Like most people, they don't want to believe something until they can see it or feel it. Then they believe it. Да повярват нещо преди да са го видяли или почувствали, искат да го видят и да го почувстват и така да го повярват. Но приходи точно това. 11 глава 24 стих е най-мощният стих в цялата Библия. Великият грандиозен класически текст за вяра. Mark 11:24. Mark 11:24. Whatsoever, whatsoever, things you desire, when you pray, believe, you receive, then you will have. Some people, they will not. Believe and receive first. Then they should first to believe and to receive, and they will never have. And so there needs to be teaching and understanding of what it means to believe and receive. Как во означава да вярваш че получаваш. And so when Jesus told me that His anointing will always go, че помазанието му винаги ще отива в хората, He was saying that you have to teach them how to receive. If I give her the anointing, but if she doesn't receive it, she won't get anything. I'm giving, but she has to receive it. It's just like this brother here. Hand me your ink pen. He's giving, say, I'm giving you this as a gift. 
Okay, now he's giving it. Ето той го дава. So in his heart, in his mind, it's already mine. Вече неговото сърце. But it's not mine. Вече е мое. Until first I have to believe. Докато аз първо не повярвам. That he is really giving me. Че той наистина ми го дава. And if I really believe it. И ако аз наистина го вярвам. Then I'm going to have some physical actions. If there are no physical actions, then I don't believe it. Значи аз не вярвам. That's part of receiving. There must be some physical actions. I can just stand there and just say, "Well, that's very nice." Oh, that's very nice. But it's never going to be mine until I have some physical. I have to take it. I have to take. What has been given to me? God has already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. But we've got to have some physical actions of taking what God has given us. Thank you. Close your eyes. Don't say anything. And see, it's it's so important too to tell people, especially the gospel people and the gospel people. They want to talk in tongues. They want to talk. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And they don't get anything. 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 And they You've got to be single-minded. See, single-minded. If you're single-minded, then you receive it. Then you receive it. Your spirit and your mind focus. Then you receive it. And so, so when I pray for her, I'm not, I'm not thinking about anything but the back of her neck. And I've got to get her to do the same thing. So I want you to think of just only that area in the back of your neck. Let's go on into your shoulders. Let's do the back of the neck first. See, I'm, I'm talking only about the back of the neck. In my, in my, my mental eye and my spiritual eye, I see her spinal column. I see muscles that are tight. Мускулите, които са стегнати. So, в името на Исус, заповядвам стягането да напусне. В името на Исус. Заповядвам които са в областта на стъпване да напусне. В името на Исус. Сега в името на Исус. Muscles to relax. Understanding relaxing. 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 Understanding relax
that he would always first get rid of the problem. And so, Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible says, God has given us a name that's above every name. It's the name of Jesus. And so, when you find out what the problem is, then if there's a problem there, there's a demon in it. Because uh, Jesus said, if you're not for me, you're against me. <coughs> And so we don't, there's not three different choices. Either it's God or it's the devil. Now I'll tell you one of the things that as in my younger years that uh, is another lie, another doctrine of man, doctrine of devils that has hindered uh, people from being proficient in the things of God and join that relief. Um, I've heard this talk for so many years that I'm not in sin Че аз не съм в грех, and I'm not in God's perfect will и не съм и в Божията съвършена воля I'm just in the flesh просто съм в плътта so in other words с други думи it's not so bad не е толкова лошо it's not really sin не е всъщност грех it's just carnal просто е в плътска <coughs> вила but Romans in chapter 8 and verse 6 The Bible says, for to be carnal is an enemy against God. So, so you don't get three choices. It's either God or the devil. One of the two. And so if somebody has a problem, it isn't carnal. Това не е просто плътски проблем или тялото му да Това е демон. Има демон там. Now some people, някои хора, it on where you're at, в зависимост от това къде си, some people get offended, някои хора се обиждат. Say, Man, казват, no човече, аз съм християнин, нямам никакви демони. Аз не казвам, че си демонично обладан. Ако отида навън, Probably in the summertime, I may get a bug on me, and the bug is biting. That don't mean I'm a bug. Right? Just have a bug. The bug landed on me. He attacked me. As I study the Bible, there's over 7,000 demons. A sign from the pits of hell. A sign to each person. Спрямо всеки един човек, на човек Сатана е дал над 7000 демони спрямо всеки един човек. Доста демони, ако. И те са с най-различни размери. В областта на духа съм виждал демони 2,50. И най-различни размери и форми. Това си имам добра вест за вас. Ако всеки един човек в света е новороден християнин или беше новороден християнин, защото вижте, ангелите са изпратени само за християните. Евреи на 14. Ако целият състоят новородени християни, всеки един човек би имал над 20 000 божи ангели назначени към него. And not even half of the world is born again. А дори половината свят не са новородени християни. Така че имаш поне 40 хиляди ангела назначени за тези. 24 часа на ден. In essence, it's real crowded in here. За други думи, тук е доста натъпкано. Real crowded. Доста пренаселено. There's just angels all over around this building. И ангели навсякъде около тая скрада на всички посоки. And so anyway, if there's a problem, find out. 
a bilo problem, od prije problema, može da vidite što je to. Ako imam vreme što je učiš kako da vidite u duhovni svijet. Ako imam vreme što je učiš kako da vidite u duhovni svijet. No, ne bih mogao za toliko vreme. So Kada ću prosto pitaš čoveka. Say, well, you know, I have problem in my back. I to je kao za primjeno, ovo imam problem grba. Ok, so get them to focus on, only on that area. Kaži imamo čoveka da se fokusira na taj oblast. I ti vrši sve što and nešto. You do, I prvo to nešto koje tu vršiš. If you think the person's gonna be offended, ako misli da čovjek će se obidi, just tell him, in Jesus name, prosto kaži u ime da mi se Zapojavam tozi problem. If it's arthritis, kaži zapojavam da artritis, ko to je, da imenuvaj go. If you can just name a problem if you want to. Može da imenuvaš problema. Because that demon knows what you're, that you're getting a hold of him. Demon nas znači što smo na nego govoriš. And you command it to leave. I zapojavaj na problema da nam uslovi. Now, I don't, I don't care what people tell me. Ne me interesuje kvo mi kazat hore. That when I tell a problem to leave, Koga to vas kaže na problem da napusne, God told me it leaves. Bog mi je kazao, će napuska. So I don't care what they say. Kad će nam interesuju, kako kazao od hora. I prayed for blinded eyes, totally blind. Zapravljam se na polnu slepi uči. I command blindness to leave. Zapravljam se putata napusne. And they say, I don't see any better. I te kazao, tam nas ne viđam polo vre. Now, am I going to believe them or I going to believe God? Na ptjahni ćete vjerom ili na Boga? I believe God. Aš vjerom na Boga. And if they receive, i ako te prijemat, I've had people, imao sam hora, a couple hours, sred njakoliko časa, after I prayed for, sred kad sam se molio za tjah, And I'm not offended. As I say, you can put me in a crowd of 30,000 people. Put them on a platform. Može me slušiš sve. I can land blindly. Trisi kili di čoveka, što iskara na platforma ta slepi hod. And the person says, I'm not any better. I čovjek kazva ne sam po dobre. I don't care what they say. Ne me interesuje tvoj kazva. I'm not arrogant. As ne sam urugante. I'm confident. As sam uveren. I'm confident. As sam uveren. He can't lie. Če Bog ne može da uži. Amen. And so that's another secret. To je druga tajna. You gotta learn to die to the flesh. Treba se učiš da umiraš za puta. I don't care what people think about me. Ne me interesuje ako misli od kora za me. I don't care if the whole world says I'm a fool. Ne me interesuje ako cene svijet kaže da sam gupa. Because I'm more concerned what he thinks about me. Što da sam zainteresuvan poveći kako Bog misli. And he thinks I'm his best friend. I Bog misli če ja sam najdobrije u prijatelj. I like that. So I'm more interested in what he thinks. Kad će ja sam pozno interesuvan Bog kako misli. And if you'll die to the flesh. Ako ti umreš za puta. Then God can live inside you. Toga Bog može živaj vatru. And so you've got to die. Kad će ti treba da umreš za puta. Stop caring what other people think about you. Spreda se bez pokojiša da se griješ. Now I'm saying this in the arrogant. But what does the Bible say? Biblija te kako kasa. Promote the word of God more than anything else. And more than your pride. Nad gordostem si. More who cares what people think. Koga interesuje kako misliti hora. And I prayed for people that were blinded. Molio sam se za slepi hora. And I did not remove my force of faith and belief. And confidence in God. I as ne opmesta, mas ne otegljam mojeta sila na vjera, mojeta uverenost i vjerovanje v Boga, sled kad sam se pomolio. When I release it, ugato je usubudio. I never take it back. I si vzem obrat. If they don't receive it, ako te ne bubrem, it's their fault. Fa je tjakem, tjakem pomoli. Tek je provjeli tjak na greške. Vlasti nikoga ne utrpvam nazad silata na vjeru. Imao sam kora na polnu slepi. Dva, tri časa se služba. V samata služba, ništo. I sve dva, tri časa se upašta, razvogovan i kaza, ta smo ove da viždam, a smo ove da viždam. Pravio sam sušt nešto sa snapovno guhi hora. Jedin naš je vodio. Edva možeš je da čuva sa snajdobrite sukvi aparatčita kojto čovjek bi mogao da kupi. I sukvite mu aparatčita sa snajdobrite da kažem, da je bilo dolar, jedno od najdobrite. I to je dva me čula. S tjak se lijep na sukome te paratčita, molih se osobodih pomazanjeto. To je kazan, ne čuvam po dobre. Mesec po kasno, započno da čuva po dobre bez sukovite aparatčita. Sljedeći pat, kad tu utjelo u Japonije, tudi vde na platformata i pred dosta hora, kaza, vište mi ušite, njamo sukove aparatčita. I mi dane pari. Kaza, predpočtam da na tebe parite, mesto na doktora za sukovite aparatčita. And so, 
You know, it's like a switch. Once you turn it on, once you turn on your confidence, веднъж след като го включиш, веднъж след като си включиш увереността и доверието в Бога, just leave it on. Просто ги остави включени. So the first thing that you do, you find out what the problem is and you command it to leave. първо намираш какъв е проблема и му заповядваш да напусне. And you you get them to focus on that lead. Казваш на човека да се фокусира на това, че проблема напуска. And then the second thing, и второто нещо е, is you teach them to surrender. Учиш хората да се предадат. I told you, казах ви, God's already given it to it. Бог вече ни го е дал. They just need to learn to receive it. Просто нужда е да случат какви There has to be some physical actions. Трябва да има физически действия. Трябва да има духовни действия. Умствени действия на приемане. Romans in chapter 6 verse 19. The Bible says yield. Библията казва предайте го. King James says yield to God's holiness. Now, when you look at the word holiness, in the Greek it says God. Yield to God. When you yield to God, you yield to His Word. And His Word says He's already given us all things. So we need to yield to it. That word yield in the Greek is the word yield. So we need to yield to it. In the Greek, it's co-equally rendered as Surrender. To se predadeš. And relax. I da se upusneš. And so when you relax physically, kada kada ti se upuskaš fizički, you are physically fizički ti fizički corresponding actions. Imaš sotvetstvošti dejstvija. You are you are purposely having actions. Umišljeno se na sotčeno imaš dejstvija. Of receiving. Na prijema. A good example is in Exodus in chapter 14, verse 13. Moses was crying and praying because there was a two million man army, the Egyptian army, was following Moses and the children of Israel and they had the sea in front of them and there was a mountainous area on one side and another opposition on the other side and a two million army and the Bible says that the army was so big and so powerful that you could hear the ground rumbling for two days before, before they could see it. And that's the way the devil is. When you take a stand for God, he's going to have circumstances that's going to rumble and say, you stupid fool, you're going to fail now, you're going under да пак отиш се провалиш сега, сега вече се провали. И така Моисей вика към Бога, моли се. И грохота се наближава и става по-зле. Кажете истината сега, моли ли сте се някога нещата да станат по-зле? Винаги. Comes immediately to steal the word when the word's been sown. So he always, he always comes immediately. So he always comes immediately. He always comes immediately. And so I always look for him to come. So when I pray and stand on God's word, things start getting worse. Then I'm just laughing. 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 That I am right on target. Pokazuj mi što sam točno u cilta. And this is the proof. This is the confirmation. I tvoje dokazatelje su. The devil is not going to bother anybody that's not doing anything. Ja vam nemam da pritisnjavam nekoj koji tu ništa ne vrši. If you're not doing anything, the devil is not going to bother you. Ako ne vršiš što ja nemam da pritisnjavam nekoj. To je bilo kradne slovo to. And so Moses is crying. He's crying. Kako je? Moisej vika, moli se. And finally, he just cried and prayed until he just wore out. Sled kako to je plakao i vika i se molio dok to se ispuštio. Most of us call praying. Površi od nas naličat molene. We call it praying. Nije mu kazano molene. But really, what it is is complaining. To ne molitva je uplakvanje. We complain. Nije se uplakvanje. And asking God. I piskam od Boga. But you know what real prayer is? You know, the point is that prayer is communication. Now, if the if the man, I think it's Bill Gates that still makes more money than any man in the world. Is that right? I think he has some people over him that are not so famous. Oh, Bill Gates. Okay, but Bill Gates has he's worth what? Seventy billion. Seventy billion. 
Okay, how much money is he in? Okay, over 70 billion. Okay, so this man's worth over 70 billion. So the Kaji Milik Bill Gates will warn him both not seven not uh seven the same yard. And so he comes here and he's gonna tell us how to make twenty million dollars in the next six months. Как да спечелиш 20 милиона долара за следващите 6 месеца? Is there anybody here this morning that has 20 million dollars? Някой тук има ли 20 милиона долара? Raise your hand, real fast. Да ги да кажа бързо. You have 20 million? Oh, in your dreams? I want somebody that has 20 million in the bank right now. Някой който има в банката сега. Because we're going to take up an offering right now. You're going to become a very good friend of mine. And so if, if, if he comes, this man, and he's going to teach us, he's already knows how to make billions. And so he can teach any one of us how to make Twenty million dollars in the next six Then I'm going to sit there, and I'm, I'm not going to open my mouth. I don't have the answers. So I would be a fool to try to interrupt him. I'm just going to write notes. I'm not saying nothing. He's got the answers, not me. Yes. Almighty God has all the answers to all of our problems and true prayer is learning to sit in his presence and shut our mouth and just listen to him because he's got the answers. He can tell you how to cross that red sea. He can tell you how to answer all of your problems. But we need to learn just to shut in his presence and say nothing. That's the best kind of praying. Let him talk. I can't make a blade of grass. But I know a man that can speak the world into existence. And he's got the answers. He's got the answers. And 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 he's got the answers. Just sit in his presence and let him speak. And so Moses finally just wore out. Praying day and night. And finally God says, Well, Moses, I'm glad that you finally closed your mouth. So now I can talk to you and give you the answer. He says, Moses, he says, stand still and see the salvation of God. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. Those two words, stand still in the Hebrew, is Тези one word in Hebrew. And in the Hebrew it says, relax. Relax, Moses. And you can see the salvation of God. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the Spirit of God. You know, I was raised in Pentecostal circles. And I was taught the way you pray for people is that you give them a, a Pentecostal massage. That you grab a hold of their head. Fast as you can go out there. Oh my Jesus! And then they would fall down. And they walk out like this. Now they needed a doctor. 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 We use the name of Jesus. When I whisper the name of Jesus, I've seen Satan appear to me personally. A few times. And all I have to do is say, I told you in Jesus' name, get out of here. He's afraid. He's horrified at the name of Jesus. It's accuracy. Using the power of God, that it's it's not exalting 
It's not sensationalism. Ne. Sensational. Yes. Physical. Let me translate it for myself. Sensationalism or sensitiveness. It's не е като да действаш от някаква сензация, не е да има нещо сетивно, което да е приповдигнато. Така мога да обясня думата. Аз не мога да с сетивата си, с физическите си усещания, като да задействам или да заработя Божията сила, да произведа с повече емоции, с повече крещене Божията сила. Простотата е на Божието Слово. And so, the second thing is you teach them to relax. Така че второто нещо е да ги научиш да се отпускат. Relax. Отпусни се. And you'll see the salvation of God. И ще видиш Господното спасение. And that's what I do. Това е което аз правя. Now, see, I'm American Indian. Аз съм американски индианец. So I'm a pretty emotional guy. Така че аз съм доста емоционален. And I used to like the man. I just thought that if I didn't preach until I was soaking wet, screaming and yelling, and then when I got when I prayed for people, they didn't get nothing. And so I learned just to speak the word of God. Просто да говоря Божия съм. The more gentler I am, всъщност колко по нежен съм, колко по кротък съм, the more accurate. Толкова по-точен, по-аккуратен съм и толкова повече от Божията сила тече. Защото Святия Дух, Той е нежен като гълъб. Той е нежен. Амин. Ето защо жените действат толкова добре. Те са нежни. You know, I had four daughters. I have four daughters. And every time I prayed for sons, I said, "Put God some some more as a son." And God gave me a daughter. Bok mi da vodi škere. And I needed all. And now I found out why. I used to complain. After they were born, I said, "Oh, man, another girl." I said, "Oh, God, the child is just another girl." I prayed for a boy. I said, "Boy, I want a boy." Is the boy? And God says, "No, you need you need another girl." And God says, "No, 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 you need another girl." God had to get all those rough edges off of me. She booked rush to me, squatty, grubby, terrible. And girls are so gentle. You know they're so soft. So funny. And I needed that. Because I was needing to be loved. I had too many, too rough edges. Too many 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 rough Focus on that area. Relaxing. To se upus na tazi oblast. Telling them to relax. Kaži na kora to se upus. Relaxing. Upus kaj ki se ti se predavaš. Now the third thing. Upus kaj predavane. Treto to nešto. That you get them to do. Koje to napravite. And this is going to require them. I tva več te zista te. This is the requirement that they have to do. Tva zista me tu te da napravite nešto. In receiving. Zda prema. In James in chapter two verse nineteen. Ja kuf tore gladi et najstis. The Bible says you believe in God. Biblija ti kaže ti vjeruješ. How many believes there's one God? Koliko od vas vjerujete čim je jedan Bog? The Bible says you do well. Biblija ti kaže dobre pravite. But now. I want everybody to raise both of your hands. I need to see both of your hands. I need everybody. I need to see. Okay. I'm 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 safe. You go ahead. I don't see nobody with any guns. No rocks. So I want to tell you something. That may make you a little bit mad. Което може малко да ви е доса. Но аз ще ви защрещате добре дела. Бог ми го казва веднъж това. В следващия стих на Яков 1.19 Яков 2.19 казва, вярваш в един Бог и даже демоните в Ада вярват и треперят. The verse twenty says, "But wilt thou know that faith, belief, trust, confidence, without works, without actions, is dead?" If we say we believe God's word is true, but if we have no actions, no physical actions, 
we have devil faith. Имаме дяволска вяра. Devil belief. Демонично вяра. The same belief that devils have. Същото вярване, което демоните имат. And that's reason people. И това е причината поради която Don't get God's miracles. Не получават Божиите чудеса. Because they have devil belief. Защото имат демонично вярване. Because Bible belief has actions. And I don't have time, but I can teach two hours. Easy. Very easy. But now actions activate God's power. One good illustration, Matthew chapter 9. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Spent all her money on doctors. But she didn't get better, she got worse. Then she heard that Jesus had the miracle-working power of God. And she said within herself, when I touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to be whole. Now, there was the Bible says there was a great multitude around Jesus. As I say the Bible, there had to have been at least 10 to 15,000 people. They were all around Jesus. All around him, touching him. Pressing him. And the Bible says, she touched the hem of his garment. The hem of his garment was on the ground. Край на дрехата му е бил отбогнал на земята. Тя е знаела, че няма достатъчно сил да ходи. Така че тя е отбързяла средства от плата 10-15 000 човека. Това ми казва, че тя е много много решителна. Тя е казвала в себе си. Днес ще бъде нов ден за мене. I'm taking a new day. Now I want to tell you something right now. Listen to me. Слушайте ме. Very closely. Every one of you have been waiting for God to, to give you a new beginning. To do something special. Some of you have been waiting 20 years. And you will wait another 20 years because you're waiting on Him and He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you to take your new beginning. You take what God has given you. Amen. Uh, Mark in chapter 11, verse, uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 11 and 12. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force. It's not talking about the third heaven. It's not talking about being arrogant or out of order against God. It's talking about Satan's kingdom. Satan's kingdom is the first heaven. And so we have to get violent against the devil. And, you know, I'm very gentle. Just like when this lady here, I prayed for her. I wasn't rough in my words. In my demeanor, but inside, my spirit said, "You devil, you get out of her neck. If you don't get out, I'm coming in to get you." And he left. So I get violent on the inside. I got a smile on the outside. Gentle as a lamb. Външно и ем усмивка, нежен като агне, кротък като агне. Но вътрешно, ловът от юда живее вътре. И аз казах, фани ги лъв. Идваме да ги правим. И по-велик е този, който е в мене, от този, който е света. Така че спри да чакаш. Нещо специално да ти се случи. И хвани това, което ти принадлежи. So, the third thing is you must tell them they must have actions. Now, in Matthew chapter 9, that the Bible says, she said, today is going to be a new day. When I touch his garment, she's crawling on her hands. So you know through 15,000 people 
През 15 000 човека people are stepping all over. Да пропози, значи хора са се върху върху главата и даш. Because everybody's wanting to get to Jesus. Защото всички се искали да идат при Исус. They want to get to Jesus. Да стигнат до Исус. They're looking up here. They're not looking up. Но те не гледат на там. They're not deliberately wanting to step on her, but they don't want to. Сигурно че не се искали обично да стъпчат, но те не се виждат. I don't care what it takes. With everything that's in me, with everything that's in me, I am going to touch his garment today. And when she touched it, Jesus says, "There's fifteen thousand people." There's somebody touching me. Jesus says, "The doctors and the people said, 'Master, there's everybody's touching me.'" Everybody's touching me. Everybody's touching me. And then he, he clarified himself. He says, "No." Somebody took. They pulled the miracle-working power of God out of me. God's given you the miracle-working power. But you must take it. You must take it. Amen. Amen. And the, and now notice. That Jesus never touched that lady. Jesus, никога не е докосна. He never prayed for her. Не се моли за нея. He never even preached a sermon. Не проповядал проповед даже. He just says, "Daughter." Каза, дъщи. Your faith. Твоята вяра. Your belief. Твоето вярване. Your confidence. Твоето увереност. Made your whole. Те направи цялостна. Real Bible faith. Истинската библейска вяра. Real Bible belief. Истинското библейско вярване има действия. No actions. Без действия. Is devil faith. Демонична вяра. Amen. Amen. It's devil faith. Amen. Last night, at this brother's church, there was a man that bound in the wheelchair. I never, I preached basically some of these same things. And we just stretched forth our hands. Didn't touch him. Just command paralyzationally, and paralyzationally, and then I even said, "Do you need some?" I said, "I, I asked some big, strong men helping." Because a man probably how maybe seventy. Yes, maybe yes. Let's say maybe seventy years old. And and so he had walkers. He's found in a wheelchair. He says, "No, I don't need no that. I'm getting out on my own. He's determined. But he didn't walk good. He didn't walk good. He didn't walk good. He didn't walk good. But did he walk, brother? No, he didn't walk, brother. Yeah. Amen. Actions activate God's power. That determination. If God doesn't come to my rescue, I don't even want to live. I don't even want to live. I don't even want to live. Because if God's a liar, life is not worth living. If he's a liar, but he's not a liar. He watches over his word to perform it. He's not watching over the letter. He's watching over the spirit. And if it's spiritual, if God's word is spiritual in me, if it's alive, if I'm giving life to the word of God, it's the spirit, it's life. Because he says, you know, his words, they're spirit and they're life. Amen. And that's the hard part on their part. And it's hard on you also. Because sometimes you see people that are in bad situations, but you compromising is not helping them. So you've got to tell them. Now you must act on God's word. 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 Any questions? Imate li vopros? God's good, isn't it? Bog je dobar, nali? So, praying with your whole heart is being single-minded. Tvoje da bodeš jedinično misliš, da se fokusirati na one thing. Fokusirati se na jedno nešto. And then it's number one. Nomer jedno. You get rid of the problem in Jesus' name. Otrvavaš se od problema v ime Tunisus. Amen. 
Изгонваш го. Number two. Амин. Релакс. Номер две. Отпусни се. Number three. Номер три. Actions. Действия. Number one. Номер едно. You read the problem. Изгонваш проблема. In Jesus name. В името на Исус. In Jesus name. В името на Исус. Релакс. Отпусни се. Three. Номер три. Actions. Действия. One. Едно. You read the problem. Отрави се от проблема. Two. Номер две. Relax. Човека се отпусне. Three. Three. Actions. Да се прибавят действия. What's number one? Какво е номер едно? Отпусни се. Number two. Номер две. Number three. Номер три. Действия. Simple. Простичко. Every little child. Всяко малко дете. Can say one, two, three. Може да каже едно, две, три. In Spanish, it's uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres, milagros, milagros, miracle, chulesa. One, two, three, miracle. One, two, three, chulesa. In Japanese, in Japanese, it's ichi ni san, ichi ni san, kiseki. Kiseki. Miracle. Chudo. One, two, three, miracle. Amen. Amen. Anybody with any questions? Anybody with any questions? Well, I mean, sure, yes. We see in the Bible that Jesus and his disciples laid a hand on the people. In Mark chapter 16 verse 18, verse 18, the Lord says, "Lay your hands on them, and they shall recover." And they shall return to the land. Is there any difference laying hands or just stretching your hand toward them? Има ли разлика между това да положиш на цена хората и да протегнеш ръка към хората? Като изучавам Библията, аз намирам седем основни начина за изцеляване. Единия е да изпратиш Словото, да положиш ръце друг, помазване с масло, молитвата на съгласие. Трябва да помисля за други седем си. The most powerful way is in the word. And sometimes I lay hands on people. To me, I, I, I see that as number two, the second. And, and sometimes people need that physical contact. And so if they need that, like if they're not receiving, if I'm doing it on an individual basis, then I'll, you know, like if, if they say, well, you know, I, I still don't, my shoulder still has problems. And maybe 5% better. Then, then, then I'll go ahead and lay my hands. Because there's power when you lay hands on people. I, 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 and that, that's scriptural. But if you do big meetings, and some of you are going to do some major crusades, and if you get even a thousand people, and you start laying hands on people, then you're going to have to lay hands on everybody. So you might be there two days. Because one time I was in India, and there was two thousand people, and I said, okay, I'm going to lay hands on people. And I said, just Come around here. And after a few hours, I noticed they just kept on coming. I said, I've seen this person. They're going for their third time. And they'll just wear you out. And so, if, if, you, if you demonstrate like on a platform, that you're just sending the word. And let them know. Romans 1:16. The Bible says the word of God is the power of God. And so, 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 and
a few, at least in a big crowd, if there's like 30,000 or something, I'll bring at least a dozen people where they can see the mirror. My blinded eye, what I like best is where they can see deformed. And they can see, I didn't touch them, I just spoke the word, and they see those bodies just covered in Mexico. Some people want to know why there is a difference between the mirror and the mirror. Което започва. Това да не ви обесърчава. И също ще се моля за хора, ако тук някой се нуждае от чудо или от изцеление, ще ви послужа и след това ще разпуснем събранието. Нека да кажа, че това много бързо. Разпели, че има разлика между чудеса и изцеление. If the gift of working of miracles is an operation, it's instant. Healing is a process. That I've seen people that they just start getting better. Now they may get a mixture sometimes. And, and generally when I pray for people, that I would be willing to say 95% of the people will instantly get at least 10 to 15% instantly better. And, and some of them probably, I don't know, maybe 40% Instantly, is 100% better. But, you know, like I said, there's a large percentage that uh, and then healing is then over a process of time. And I think that God does that because he wants them to trust him over a period of time. And I think that God works this way in this way, because God wants these people to trust him over a period of time. So don't get discouraged if you don't see the miracles. In fact, some of you, when you first start out, the devil will really try to fight you. And, and so your percentage of miracles might be smaller that have confidence in the healing. Amen. And, and one, of, one of the ways is just to die to the flesh. Because the devil will try to say, well, see, nothing happened because there wasn't anything instant. And try to discourage you. So. Please encourage us about raising the dead. This was not so common in Bulgaria, so we would like to hear about this testimony. Okay. Um, the fact of the matter is, I prayed for a whole lot of people that's been dead. I've been to the morgue a few times, <laughs> but I'm sorry to say 95% of the people that I prayed for, they're still dead. Yeah. Only, I'm, I'm practicing. I've only raised five people from the dead. And so if you die, that you've got 5% chance I'm gonna raise you. <laughs> but I'll try. And uh, practice makes perfect. But now when it comes to raising the dead, you don't have any problem getting them to relax. They're doing a good job of that. Predominantly what I'm teaching you is really agreement prayer. It's like if there's a 200 pound weight and if I can lift 150 and that's all I can lift is 150 and then, but we need to lift 200 pounds so I need you to lift your 50 and so that's predominantly that well, that's predominantly what I do. And that's predominantly what I'm teaching you. Now there's sometimes that I take a stronger percentage. I may take 
90%. It depends on the person's faith level. But I gotta get something out of them. When they're dead, you got the whole load. You've got to do it all. 100% And and so and it's scriptural, God's given it to you. And practice makes perfect. And it is scriptural. Amen. Amen. So if anybody dies, and, and another thing about raising the dead is that uh, if there's family members, that, and if they don't want you there, you're not going to do any good. That the Bible says that uh, two cannot walk together unless they walk in agreement. Amos, uh, Amos 3.7. And I've been in those situations where I prayed for people and things would be a lot better и нещата са ставали много по-добре. Но полицията ме ескортирала вън от болницата. Защото семейството показва, не те искаме тук. Ако семейството не те иска там, трябва да има съгласие. Защото не е в моргата, I went to the morgue one time and there was a black policeman and he was in charge of the people uh, going in inside the morgue. And so I went down to the hospital and I said, I, I, I come to uh, raise this man from the dead. See, I told you, you got to die to the flesh. Die to pride. Because everybody will say, you're a fool. And uh, so they were kind of, you know, and they said, well, you had to talk to them. They called this police. And he says, well, what do you want? I said, I'm going to go in there to the morgue. I said, I'm going to go in there to the morgue. He was a black guy. But after I said that, then he turned white. And so, in the morgue, usually the family won't bother you in there. You know, nobody else will either. And so that's... But so if you want to have a more ministry, you can start. So I can you explain why does this sickness or problem return to people after different time and places? Бихте ли обяснили защо болестите и проблема се връща при хора след някакъв период от време на различни места, различни периоди? And that's an excellent point. Uh, Satan comes immediately. Mark chapter 4. And Jesus said in that chapter, said, if you will understand this parable, and in the Greek it says understand this doctrine, then you'll understand all the doctrines of God. He says when the word is sown, Satan comes immediately. And so I prayed for people that were totally blind. Totally blind. Yeah, blind is bad. Слепи като прилеп. And then they, they can begin to read the newspaper, read, да read the Bible. Да And an hour later after the service, just at the door, they lost it all. 100%. And, and so people need to learn that the symptoms come back. The Bible says, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, says, fight the good fight And uh, I know that probably none of these ladies have been in the fight. But, yeah. I hope not. Maybe some of you have. But uh, all of us guys, when we were boys, hope that's all passed by. 
предполагам, че една от дамите тук е била в армията или в казармата, или се е сбила с някой, повечето мъже и момчета сме го правили. Но ако ти се сбиш с някой, има много напрягане на усилията ти. Първо Тимотей 6.12 казва Воювай, бий се на вярата. Има само едно воюване, което е добро воюване. Има само биене, което е добро сбиване. И това е воюването на вярата. Така че това е усърдно усилие, напрягане на усилие. Хората се нуждаят да бъдат научени на това. Повечето служби, които правя, хората искат аз да дойде и си мисля, че аз и да се чуете от задния чоп и като започна да се моля за хората, незабавно така ще се случи всички чудеса. Но ще забележите, че в Диана 14 глава апостол Павел отиде в Икония и Библията казва, че той не се моли дори за един човек, докато не ги беше получавал за един сезон, на гръцки сезон, е три месеца. Значи три месеца са минали на получение преди Павел да се моли за който и да видим. Така че аз върша доста походи и имам чудеса и знамения за рекламиране, че Бог е добър Бог. И го използвам като средство да печеля хора за Господа. И това се случва, когато хората видят, че отдената Божия сила, това докосва сърцата и те знаят, че са в Божия присъствие и те искат да го познаят лично. Необходимо да прекарвам повече време с хората и след службите и също за той да заеди месец и да уча хората, да ги уча на Божите неща, как да ги приемат, да уча хората как да се държат изцелението, когато Сатана се върне. Така че надявам се пасторите да получават хората на това. Питаме ли бъде вариант да Бог да откаже изцеление? Или всички неосъществени изцеления са заради някаква причина по-крепа? Is there an option where God will refuse to heal somebody or all unrealized healings are people's responsibility? Another good point. Excuse me, and he wants prayer also after that. Okay. Another good point. Sometimes there aren't You know, what I try to do is, I'm, I'm trying to do the most I can in a short period of time. And, um, and so sometimes, this is just one illustration, there's, there's several reasons sometimes why people don't receive, but one illustration is sometimes they have sin in their life. Uh, the first time that, that this ever really occurred to me so strong was many, many years ago. There was a man that was deformed in, in, in one leg. Един му крак беше по-късен. И това причиняваше доста проблеми и проблеми в гърба. И можеш да се представиш, ако ти е по-къс един крак, как ще ходиш и как това ти изкривява гърба. Остави го да седне на столно платформа. И кръкъл му беше, може би, само толкова по-късно. Да кажем 3 см. Молих се. Мигновено може да се види, без да го докосвам, кръкъл му порасна. Изпратих Божията си, кръкъл му веднага порасна 3 см. И след като порасна, до 30 секунди, се върна обратно. Аз си помислих, какво не е? Молих се пак. Също нещо. Кръв порасна и след 3 секунди се прибра обратно. Трети път молих се. 
и каза. Малко се чувствах за сраме. Това, което прави дявола. Виждаш ли, ти нямаш помазание, ти нямаш помазание, ти нямаш помазание, ти нямаш помазание. Това е наред Божия. Бог каза, прошепни в ухото му, не го засрамвай, но попитай. Има ли някой, на който не можеш да простиш? Като показах това, лицето му е така. Той каза да. И аз казах, точно сега, аз познавам Бога, и аз знаем, че ти можеш да си запазиш изцелението. Ако точно сега в сърцето си, просто поискаш от Бог да им прости, и веднага след като можеш, веднага след като можеш, отиди по този човек и го уведоми, че ти си му простил. Ще направиш ли това, казах? Той каза, не, не мога да направя това. Пречеше да приеме. Бог го даде, но те не можеха да го запазят. Защото част от приемането те трябва да имат действия на прошка. Така че не вършим нашата част и хората трябва да направят техната част. Искат withholding healing. Искат withholding healing sometimes for some people. Бог не задържа. Бог никога не задържа. Просто условията не са наред. Не може да вали. Неправилни условия. Нека да служа в Бога. Виждам нещо като проблем с синусите. Мисля, че е проблем с синусите. Виждам дух точно тук. В името на Исус има власт. И се трябва той дух да напусне в името на Исус. И виждам, че ти е било трудно да тиши господините. И е причинявал голоболие. Така че заклявам той дух да напусне. В името на Исус. Напусни. И в името на Исус. Заправям тази област на лицето ти да се отпусни. Разбирайки, че когато се отпусни, ти приемаш и се предаваш. Просто се фокусирай. В името на Исус. Затвори устата. И ти ще е дълбоко дълбоко, само с носа си. Колко по-добре е? По-добре ли ти ще е? Да прави го отново. Истината е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Това е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Това е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Това е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Това е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Това е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Това е, че аз не съм имала проблем с носа си. Нека да видя някои други области. Дяване на Lower parts of 
her body. Um, and I don't even know what this would be in relation to, but it's the, uh, I, I see like in the spleen area, and I don't know how that would affect your body. That I, I see a, a spirit there that is kind of affected your spleen. The spleen, do you know what the spleen is? But, um, it's in the lower parts of your organs. Um, I don't even know the purpose. Um, I think your spleen like filters um, you know, poisons from your liver. Is that right? And so just tell her close your eyes. In Jesus' name, I take authority over that spirit. In Jesus' name. Leave. In Jesus' name. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that you call it a spleen, but it's something that um, it has something to do with filtering the blood and with the liver. The organ does that. And so I command that, that, that spirit to leave. In Jesus' name, I command that area. See, it's close to the, like the liver area. I command that area to, to relax, to surrender. Focus more on that area relaxing. Amen. And she's going to find out that the, her, her blood is going to be more pure now. That her, you know, how that affects the blood, I, I'm not sure. How that affects the blood. But ask her to stand up. And just turn around. Can you can you can you touch your toes? Yes, she can. How much better do you feel like in, in, in this area? Okay. Yes, I feel good. Okay. Um, have you been to the doctor for any of those any, any problems like that? Did you, did you? No, she wasn't. Okay. Well, you'll find that you'll find that uh, something that has to do with your blood is better. Amen. 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 Well, um, okay. Th this gentleman right right here. That. Uh, I see a couple of problems. Uh, the two major problems is in the heart region. And I see the left, uh, no, 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 the, 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 the right side of the heart. Um, the problems there. Uh, it hasn't been real major. But he would uh, die of a heart attack if it wasn't for this service. And I, I, I see what it is, it's a spirit. On the, and it, he's got a hold of the, the, the left side of the heart. And there's one main artery. It's, it's right through here. The, it goes from the top of the heart here. And so, in Jesus' name, I take authority of that spirit. I command you to leave his heart region. In Jesus' name, and in Jesus' name, I command that area to relax. So I just close his eyes and focus on his heart relaxing. Understanding when you relax, you surrender. That warmth you feel in your chest region, that relief, is God's miracle power. In Jesus now in the in the lungs, I, I see that there's been shortness of breath, um, and um, it, it, it's like that. Um, 
I, I don't know if he was like working in a factory or, or maybe from smoking in the past. Something like that uh, has damaged the lungs. Uh, and so he doesn't have uh, as good a breathing as he used to. And so I just take authority over those spirits that have been assigned to the lungs. I see on both lungs that uh, uh, areas where the uh, uh, demonic spirits are attack, they're attacking the lungs, especially on the, the inside of the lungs, on both sides. See, see where I'm talking here, like this. And uh, not over here, but in the middle. And so in Jesus' name, I command those spirits to leave him because uh, he's the property of God. He's the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so I command now the area of those lungs to relax. Understanding when you relax, you surrender to God's If you focus, if you will focus on that area of relaxing, you'll uh, find that you're finding relief. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I ask him, come out. And just to run down to this aisle fast as he can, Two times. Just two times. Back and forth. Just fast as you can. The faster he runs, the, the, the more. Ask him. How much better do you feel? How much better do you feel? I feel better. Amen. Have, have you been to the doctor for the long time? Have you been to the doctor for the long time? No, I haven't. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there any problem? And the pregnant girl? Yes. Yes, he has been only to examine his lungs, but he was not treated. He was not uh, working. He was not working with Dr. Security. Okay, but there was a problem in the lungs? No, I don't know if you have any problems with the lungs. Yes, the Yes, the liver and the lungs. How, how do you feel now? Good. Amen. 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 You come receive healing for your eye? So you're totally blind in that right eye? Totally blind. So you, um, are you ready to receive? Okay, close your eyes. In Jesus' name, I take authority over blindness in that right eye. You can't stay because Jesus' name is above every name. His name is above the name of blindness. So in Jesus' name, we command blindness to leave. And the same power that upheld the whole world, created the world, that same power is now going forth into that eye, recreated it right now. I command that eye to surrender to God's power, surrender to the miracle working power of God. Relax in that right eye. Understanding when you relax, you're receiving, you're surrendering. So you can even feel that warmth and that relief in that right eye. That's the gentleness of God's miracle working power. Amen. And tell him to stand up and put his uh, left hand over his left eye and begin to, and, and look around take his index finger and point to the first light that he sees. Where does he, he sees a light? Straight up? Is that, is that what he's saying? No, he's not saying well, tell him, okay, tell him, point his finger where he sees a light. And the first thing he'll start seeing. 
Това е първата, първото нещо, което започнеш да виждаш. Всяка светлина, която виждаш в тази сграда. Където и да я огледаш. Започни да се обръщаш. И да се оглеждаш. И посочи с пръст. Веднага след като видиш светлина. Какъвто и да е вид светлина. Това е първото нещо, което ще започнеш да виждаш и посочи директно към тази светлина, като я видиш. Може да седнеш, ако желаеш. И продължи да гледаш с това, да имаш действия на виждане. Практикувай виждане. Ще се изисква повече вяра. Някои неща са по-прости. Ако упражняваш повече от вярването си, ще се стърне. Амин. Чувства ли помазанието на Бог да идва в окото ти, когато се молихме? Чувства ли една топлина? Чувства ли една топлина? Чувства ли една топлина? Чувства ли една топлина? I never touched you, so that was the Holy Spirit's touch. And so, as you begin to receive that, that it begins to work. See, the Bible also says that God's words are like seeds. And so, seeds grow. And so, Apparently, you didn't receive a miracle, but the miracle-working power of God is going into your eyes, and so just keep trusting Him. Amen. Amen. Was there a young? There was a. Did he leave already? Okay. Let me let me just look at you a second, and and see what I see. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Okay. On the left-hand side of your body, and the lower organs, right in that area is where I see a spirit, and it's in fact it's it's real large, that it would be, I'm trying to describe how large it is, but it's probably about this large, if you see it in my hand. Извежда като комбинацио. Spirits have all different sizes. It's, it's like a, this is the root of a problem of an incurable situation. It can be cured by medical science. And so in Jesus' name, I command that to leave. That's the root of the problem. And just tell him to close his eyes and focus on that portion of his body. In Jesus' name, I command the Spirit to leave. Now I command that area to relax. Right in that area. Understanding when you relax, you're surrendering to God. Amen. Focus more on relaxing. In Jesus' name, I command that area to be recreated. In Jesus' name, to surrender to God's power. Okay, ask him to stand up and just run down here and back two times because the actions activate God's power. 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 Two times. Um, how much better are you now? 
По-добре ли си сега? Идвам се да пресъна. He's trying to evaluate. What was his problem before? Какъв е бил проблема ти преди? Леко го работи и съм сванат от зъбе, понеже съм море за схващане на мускулно схващане. Headache and stiffness in the muscles. Сега как се чувстваш? По принцип, като се изправя, се чувствам по-добре. Usually, when I'm standing up, I feel better. Or when he sits down. When he sits down, when he is feeling the pain. Добре, тогава се ни проверим. How do you feel now? Сега как се чувстваш? I think I feel better. One of the things you have to, another thing that you need to know is, and you, see what I'm doing is operating with the gift of discerning the spirit. So I've seen in the spirit world. And so, like I said, we don't have time to get into that. And so, like I said, we don't have time to get into that. So you just ask the person, where's the problem at? But when you start seeing in the spirit world, demons are the root of the problem. And demons are not permanent. Many, many times I'll pray for people. I can remember praying for a guy on the Indian reservation. This is the first time this ever happened to me. Maybe 25 years ago. He's sitting like right here. And I seen in his back like right here. It was a spirit. It looked like a, it looked kind of like a turtle. But it had a claws for arms that stretch out and it just stretch out quite a ways. So I asked him, I said, do you have any problems in this right here? And he says, no, I have no problems here. I said, have you ever? So I said, well, I see a spirit there. So I commanded to leave. So I commanded to leave. I commanded that area to surrender to the power of God. And as soon as he, as soon as I Finish praying. Then he just he says he went up like this. And then he got excited. He says and he says was ten or fifteen years ago he was playing football and he tore his rotator cuff and they had to do surgery to sew it back. And so his arm was stiff and he said he never been able to raise it from here. And when I got rid of that spirit. That he could raise it with no pain. And so you, you get rid of the root of the problem. And see spirits, especially when you start seeing the spirit of the world, they'll, they'll try to trick you because they know you can see them. And so a person may have a problem in their head, but that spirit is down here. Now. So you want to get rid of the root of the problem. And so when you start learning the, you know. And, and I, I do that because I don't know that God shows me. I see something I want to do. Anybody, anybody else, if you need prayer, just raise Okay. Okay, let, let's just do this. Okay, we, we've already shown you. I didn't touch anybody. It's the word of God. It's the power of God. So close your eyes. Everybody that needs a miracle, just listen to me. Because we want to give God the glory. It's God that does it. It's, it's not me. It's God. And so, in Jesus' name, I take authority over all the problems, sicknesses and diseases, pain, aggravation, in all of these people's bodies or in their lives. I command those problems to leave, in Jesus' name. Now, this is your part. You focus your attention on that area that you need a healing or a miracle. Focus on that area. 
Understanding when you're relaxing, you're surrendering to God's power. Don't think of anything else. Only focus on relief and relaxing. Don't think of anything else. Focus on relief. Just do it more. Get real quiet. See? The anointing has gone to every single person. Now, begin to stand up. Everybody that needs the miracle, stand up and begin to do something that was difficult or that you couldn't do before. Just do something. If you can't think of anything else, just raise your arms. Dance. Everybody stand. Something. Notice when you begin to do something. Have action. Notice when you begin to do something. 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 Okay, one lady here. Anybody else? Raise your hand if you got relief. Okay. For the anointing, of, okay, there's a couple other ladies. Amen. So, this lady. Amen. Amen. That, God is simple. Amen. Well, you can go ahead and be seated. And uh, I'll just... Uh, Turn the service back over to Pastor. Yes, Pastor. And thank you, and I thank you all for uh, taking your precious time and letting me share some things with you. Predominantly, healing and miracles is the dinner bell for the gospel. Камбаната или звъна за вечеря, за благовестието, света да дойде на вечеря. Главно прославя Бога, второ благославя хората, и трето това е уръди и средство за спечелване на изгубените. Амин.